hey this is Hellraiser I'm going to show you a 24k perfection on Reflection Remake of Ivory Tower from Halo 2 pretty old school map and again you know this is in the first week of Halo Reach so yeah if you end up wanting to see more tutorials on how you'll go you know, perfect against regular players, or how you'll do well on my levels, please subscribe to this channel. Anyhow, I always start out with sprint on almost every single map, because I want to get to whatever weapons are being raised for first, before my enemies do. I decided to do a level because I was going to raise for rockets, but things that that jetpack guy engaged us, I assume that our enemies already have rockets. I'm actually pretty lucky that this guy right here doesn't have them himself. There's a part up there, but not a problem. The people who are being double teamed are easily overwhelmed. This guy is sprinting, so he doesn't get the first shot. That guy misses with his sniper twice, so I can't do anything further, even though I have only half the shield. I'm not taking any damage, it doesn't matter how much health I really have. He's right there. He's occupied with the minimum. So I can drop down and shot and help my teammate finish off the kill. Two actions, one motion. You can attack someone and dodge shots at the same time as long as you have presence of mind to do so and use your geography to your advantage as I did there. Now, since my opponents have control of the tower, and I have the sniper, the best thing I can do is come back here and try to pick them off. That's exactly what I do. People don't expect to deal with the sniper from over here. That's probably the closest I end up coming to dying this entire match, but I knew my teammate had rockets and that I'd be covered. I'd seen this guy down here, but I chose to run away because if I missed a no-scope on him, there's no guarantee that I could get away once I started running because I was in a pretty open area. He chases, now he's dead. Now that they now that we seem to be here and the tower, I know they're gonna spawn either at the base of the grab lift or off in the room to the right where shotgun spawns. Seems like they have possession of um of the top of the tower again. So I'm still camping out here. I noticed this guy starts firing at someone else, so I exploit that. Going for the easy no scope. Even if I'd missed it wouldn't have been mattered because he was engaged on someone else, so I can easily approach him without having to worry too much. Once you see someone firing at another player like that, you know you can pretty much do whatever you want to them and they're going to ignore you, no matter how good they are or anything else. I five grenades, so I decided it's time to drop down, especially since I don't really know where my enemies are at or where they've spawned. I see there's one kind of above me, so I have a general idea that they're probably around tower and all around me on the high ground. I decided to come over here and wait for rockets since they take about three minutes to spawn. Note though that I didn't get here until 840. I see a lot of dots on my motion sensor and now they're right above me. If I make a movement right now, I'm probably going to die, so I decided to stick it out and keep waiting for those rockets. However, as I said enough that timer, I didn't get here till 840. Game starts at 12 minutes. Someone probably picked them up already since they're not back. Someone would naturally pick up rockets by less than 1150. Add three minutes to that, subtract three minutes to that, I'm sorry. And you're gonna end up with 852. I got there after the fact. So I realized that the other team must have rockets since we weren't in control of that area around the time when they spawned. Judging on the fact that they have rockets, I decide to play very conservatively and not get close to them. Especially being that they're at the top of this hallway. In a close quarter area. We've 
killed a, a couple of them though, so I know it's probably safe to push in since I hear a lot of shots being fired. The one danger I really face is that this guy here could be the one who draws it. Whenever someone sprints in on me with the sword like that, Snipers, take your time and steady it. Just don't fire them rapidly and frantically. They're not much of a threat, honestly, as long as you don't miss your shots. The DMR is more lethal than the battle rifle was. Though I myself am low. That guy dropped. Once there was a distraction being said I had part of my shield taken out. Then I decided to engage, but it didn't matter anymore. Easy <laughs> kill right there. This man's chasing here, but I can see by where his grenade placement's going that his grenades aren't going to be I use my sprint to close the distance on him since he's relatively close already. Someone who may have close range weapons, always be aware of this possibility. Since they have rockets down there in a closed area, I decide it's time to back off. There's really no sense in getting killed now, especially when they have those rocks. I decide to switch out my empty sword too with the DMR since empty the sword is no more than basically melee. And I have another button for melee. There's no sense in having one of my weapons taken up as a melee. Pretty easy to right here. Since they're crawling around the back and have rockets, as you can see, I'm pretty much as far back from them as possible and exploiting the range of my sniper. Because the last thing I want to do right now is get caught by someone with rockets, especially when I have another power weapon on the map. The only other real power weapon on the map, besides the sword. We don't want them to have two-thirds of the power weapon, so I have to stay alive. Whenever you have a sniper in particular, or a rocket launcher, you have to, you really have to make it a point to stay alive with those weapons, no matter what Halo you're playing. Because those weapons allow you to exercise Five minutes two remaining. dominance over a map. At this point, I begin to assume that they must be off in this room over here. And since I'm not seeing a whole lot of movement towards this direction, I decide maybe it's time to slowly but surely branch out and see what's going on. We now have control of the towers, and I'm not seeing a lot of yellow icons from those people really. Definitely no one, so I know that we must be lower. Remember, orange means they're shooting, Double kill. yellow means they're firing. If people aren't taking damage, then whoever they're shooting at generally isn't on the same level as them. Reach is a game that rewards you based on your personal achievements, but that doesn't mean that you should, game you know, over. try to strive for every kill. Don't play differently based on that. Remember, winning in the long run is what will ultimately get you the best rating you can possibly get. Winning matters most, not your personal achievements or your points. Everything else is secondary if you're playing this game competitively or to get better, you know. So just try to keep that in mind. There's definitely no shame in helping a teammate pick up a kill, especially not when winning is what matters the most. Anyways, that's how you go perfect against really shitty kids on Ivory Tower. I'll have more uploads in ranked mode very soon. See ya.